In this lesson, we're going to take a look at what happens when two tangent lines uh, intersect at a common external point. So for example, here's our circle. It has center O. We'll make an external point. I will call this point P. And we'll draw some tangent lines to the circle that intersect at P. So we'll start here. We have a tangent line. And again, another point another line starting at P and tangent to the circle. So we have two tangent lines drawn. Uh, what's important about these is that these are both congruent to each other. So let's say this uh, point here where it intersects the circle is A and here where it's tangent is B. So we have AP is congruent to BP. We could also draw the radius here, and a radius from O to B as well. So we know that a tangent line and a radius are perpendicular to each other. So this is a right angle, and this is also a right angle. Right now we have a, a quadrilateral the two congruent sides and two congruent angles. If we were to draw another line from point P to the center of the circle, we now have two triangles. And these two triangles are actually congruent. Okay, they both have these sides congruent, they have this angle congruent, and they have these sides congruent because they're both radiuses and radiuses of, a, of the same circle are congruent. And actually we also know that this side OP is congruent to itself. This side OP is in both triangles. See OP is part of this triangle and OP is also part of this triangle. So because the same exact side is in both triangles, we know that this side is congruent in both triangles. It's the same exact side. That's called the reflexive theorem. So since we know that these two triangles are congruent, we also know that this angle, angle APO, is congruent to angle BPO. So we have angle APO, is congruent to angle BPO and of course this angle AOP is congruent to angle BOP. So we have two tangent lines. When we uh, also draw a line from the external point to the center and draw the radiuses, we end up with these two congruent triangles, which just happen to be right triangles because of this right angle. So if we had to find any one of these sides in here, uh, we could actually use Pythagorean theorem. We just have that this side is A. This leg is B, and hypotenuse is C. So we do A squared plus B squared plus C squared. And we can find the missing sides if we knew two of them. So if we knew this tangent line and we knew the radius, we could find this hypotenuse C.